Popular American bully breeds like the pocket bully and the standard bully exist, but which one is best for you? Which one fits you best? In order to help you choose which of these two wonderful breeds is best for your family, this video will compare and contrast every aspect of each one. Are you looking for a brand new type of bully? Some of the most coveted dogs in the world are American bullies. They have a reputation for being devoted, caring, and excellent with families. There is an American bully for everyone because they are available in pocket and standard sizes. The best thing about these dogs is that they are friendly and loving by nature, making them ideal for any family. Look no further than the American bully if you want a canine companion who will become your best friend. A helpful website is also available to assist you in picking the best American bully. They have all the information you require regarding breeds, training, dog foods, advice, and more. An American bully is what? In front of a white background, American bully. A companion dog breed that first appeared in the United States in the 1990s is the American bully. It is a direct ancestor of the American Staffordshire Terrier and Pit Bull Terrier. It has been bred, though, to have a softer, more loving disposition. These dogs have short backs, thick necks, and a stocky build. They have broad noses, large jaws, and heads. Although their ears are typically cropped, some owners prefer to keep them uncut. Bullies in America come in a range of hues, including black, blue, brindle, fawn, red, and white. In 2004, the American Bully was given official recognition by the American Bully Kennel Club. The Top 5 American Bullies now that you are aware of some of the characteristics of the American Bully, let's examine the various subtypes. American Bullies fall into one of five categories, Pocket, Standard, Extreme, Classic, or XL. The smallest kind of bully in America is called a Pocket Bully. They typically have a shoulder height of no more than 17 inches and weigh between 11 and 40 pounds. Bullies in a pocket share all the same physical traits as larger bullies, but they come in a smaller form. The most common kind of bully in America is the standard bully. They stand between 16 and 21 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 40 and 70 pounds. Bullies are typically stocky and muscular, with short backs and thick necks. They have broad noses, large jaws, and heads. Although their ears are typically cropped, some owners prefer to keep them uncut. Bullies in general come in a variety of hues, including black, blue, brindle, fawn, red, and white. A bigger version of the typical bully is the extreme bully. They stand between 19 and 23 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 80 and 120 pounds. Extreme bullies share all of the same physical traits as regular bullies, but they come in a bigger package. The classic bully is roughly the same size as the standard bully, but has a more intimidating appearance. They stand between 16 and 21 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 60 and 100 pounds. Compared to a standard bully, classic bullies have heads that are narrower and have longer muzzles. They also have smaller chests and longer legs. Bullies in the traditional sense can be black, blue, brindle, fawn, red, or white. The biggest bully in America is called an XL bully. They stand between 19 and 26 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 100 and 150 pounds. Bullies who are larger than average have all the same physical traits as bullies who are smaller than average. Let's compare and contrast the pocket bully with the standard bully now that you are aware of the various American bullies. What distinguishes a pocket bully from a standard bully? American bully dogs have broad chests, thick necks, and muscular bodies with short legs. They have a big head, a wide nose, and are stocky. Their coat is short, stiff, and glossy, and their skin is constrictive. Their tails have thick, bushy hair. But there are significant variations between each breed, particularly between a pocket and a regular bully. The following are the differences between these two types. Physical Characteristics of a Standard Bully versus a Pocket Bully The smallest bully in America is a pocket bully. They typically have a shoulder height of no more than 17 inches and weigh between 11 and 25 pounds. 
The most common kind of bullies in America are the standard bullies. They stand between 17 and 20 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh between 40 and 70 pounds. Standard bullies are more muscular than pocket bullies, despite the fact that both types have muscular bodies. Additionally, their legs are shorter than their bodies. Eyes The eyes of a pocket bully are rounded and spaced widely apart in contrast to the almond-shaped and close-spaced eyes of a standard bully. Nose A pocket bully has a short, wide nose, while a standard bully has a long, narrow nose. Coat a standard bully has a soft, dense coat, whereas a pocket bully has a short, stiff, glossy coat. Color Colors of pocket bullies include black, blue, brindle, fawn, red, and white. Standard bullies can also be found in black, blue, brindle, fawn, red, and white, among other colors. They can also be found in merle, though. Tail a pocket bully has a short, thick tail, while a standard bully has a long, thin tail. A body belt. Bullies with a small build, as opposed to bullies with a larger build, are called pocket bullies. Size. The biggest distinction between a pocket bully and a typical bully is size. Pocket bullies are almost twice as big as standard bullies. The smaller, kinder American pocket bullies are variations on the traditional bully. They are devoted friends and make wonderful family pets. Bullies are wonderful family pets in general, but if they are not properly socialized and trained, they may become more aggressive. Both varieties of American bullies are smart and simple to control. Standard Bully versus Pocket Bully, Health and Care Bullies, whether pocket or standard, are prone to conditions like hip dysplasia, glaucoma, allergies, hypothyroidism, and skin issues. However, compared to regular bullies, pocket bullies are more susceptible to health issues. Care Bullies, both pocket and traditional, require a lot of exercise. They must also be socialized and trained from an early age. Because they are more intelligent and smaller than traditional bullies, pocket bullies are simpler to train. Because they are obstinate and intelligent, standard bullies are more challenging to train. Both types require a lot of care and affection. Comparing pocket bullies versus standard bullies, intelligence and temperament. Bullies in the pocket are amiable, devoted, and devoted. They are also smart and simple to train. Bullies as we know them today are also warm, loyal, and loving. They can, however, be obstinate and challenging to train. Both kinds make wonderful household pets. Intelligence. Bullies in pockets possess greater intelligence than bullies in general. They are a new breed that has been selected for intelligence, which explains this. Because they have been bred for strength and size, typical bullies are less intelligent than other breeds. Lifespan of a pocket bully versus a standard bully. Bullies in the standard and pocket species can live for 12 to 14 years. How should American bully dog breeds be cared for? You want to make sure your canine companion is healthy and content, whether you have an American bully named Pocket or a typical bully. Among the American bully dog breeds proper care are A balanced diet It's crucial to comprehend the diet needs of the American bully breed if you decide to adopt one as a pet. American bully puppies need a diet high in protein and fat for healthy growth and development. American bullies who are adults require a diet that is higher in protein and lower in fat in order to preserve their lean muscle mass. Your veterinarian can advise you on the best food for your bully and how much to feed them based on their age, weight, and level of activity. Routine Exercise American bullies are a breed with a lot of energy that needs to be regularly exercised. Adult American bullies should exercise for at least 30 minutes each day. Young dogs and puppies may need up to two hours of exercise every day. Exercise keeps your bully physically and mentally healthy, which can help them avoid boredom and negative behaviors. Regular Veterinary Exams It's crucial to take your American bully to the veterinarian for routine checkups and vaccinations. Your dog's health will remain optimal with routine checkups. Appropriate Instruction and Socialization 
American bullies require appropriate training and socialization from a young age, just like all dog breeds. Your bully will learn proper behavior and command compliance through training. Your bully will become more at ease around people and other animals with socialization. Because they are smaller and smarter than standard bullies, American pocket bullies might be simpler to train. Bullies as we know them can be obstinate. A lot of love and care. American bullies are devoted and loving companions who enjoy interacting with people. They require a lot of love and care from their owners. If you take good care of your American bully, your furry friend should give you many years of companionship. Despite their smaller size, pocket bullies have big personalities. Bullies are wonderful family pets in general, but if they are not properly socialized and trained, they may become more aggressive. Both varieties of American bullies are smart and simple to control. Your bully will be a loyal friend for many years if given the right care. Go to the American Bully for more information and advice. Common Health Conditions Among American Bullies Breeds of the American Bully are prone to a number of health issues. The following are a few of the most typical health issues. Dysplastic Hips This condition, which affects the hip joint, is congenital. For affected dogs, it may be painful and result in lameness. A dysplastic elbow. This congenital condition results from abnormal elbow joint development. In addition to being painful, it can make affected dogs lame. Allergies. Environmental and food allergies are common in American bullies. Itching, redness, swelling, and hair loss are all symptoms of allergic reactions, which range in severity from mild to severe. Skin conditions. Bullies in America are also more likely to develop dermatitis, seborrhea, and hot spots on their skin. Allergies, poor nutrition, or other medical conditions can result in skin issues. Anemia. Red blood cell count is decreased in this condition. Weakness, sluggishness, and an inability to exercise are all symptoms of anemia. It's crucial to take your American bully to the vet for a checkup if you suspect they may be experiencing any of these health issues. For the management of these conditions, early diagnosis and treatment are essential. Foods for American bullies that work. You should adhere to the following recommendations to give pocket and standard bully the best feeding possible. Take into account the age of your bully. Puppies require a different diet than adult dogs. Due to their rapid growth, puppies require a diet rich in calories and nutrients. To help them maintain a healthy weight, adult dogs need a diet that contains fewer calories. Activity level, take into account your bully's level of activity. More calories are needed by active dogs than by less active dogs. American bullies need more calories in their diet than the average dog because they are an active breed. Think about your bully's health. Dogs who suffer from health issues like allergies or skin conditions may require a special diet. Based on your bully's specific requirements, your veterinarian can suggest the best food. The following foods are among the safest to feed your American bully. Dark rice. Fish with sweet potato. Chicken and lamb. Veggies and fruits. Remember that every dog is unique, and when choosing the right food for your bully, take into account their specific nutritional requirements. Avoid American Bully Foods Due to allergies, it is best to steer clear of the following when feeding your pocket and standard American Bully. Dairy products and beef. Products made from soy and corn. Wheat-based goods. Synthetic flavors and colors. Preservatives. Allergies and adverse reactions have been linked to these ingredients. It's critical to carefully read labels and steer clear of these ingredients whenever possible. It is best to be aware of the symptoms of a food allergy if your bully is having skin problems. Reading on will assist you in this. What are typical food allergy symptoms in bully breeds? Itching, redness, swelling, and hair loss are the most typical symptoms of food allergies in dogs. Take your bully to the veterinarian right away for a checkup if they exhibit any of these signs. A food allergy can be a serious condition that requires medical attention. Benefits and drawbacks of standard bully and pocket bully. 
A scaled down version of the standard American bully is the American bully pocket. Although they have many physical similarities, there are some significant differences to take into account before deciding which kind of bully is best for you. Here are some benefits and drawbacks for each kind. Pocket bully benefits. They are easier to handle because of their smaller size. Compared to the standard bully, they are less aggressive. A smaller house or apartment is an option for pocket bully. Cons of pocket bully. More susceptible to health issues. Entail greater care. Stand-up bully advantages. Stronger resistance to health issues. Can reside in a range of residences, including apartments and big houses. Ideal for households with young children. Standard bully drawbacks. They may be more challenging to handle due to their larger size. Aggressiveness is more likely than with the pocket bully. Entail more physical activity than the pocket bully. The best way to choose the right kind of bully for you is to take your needs and way of life into account. The pocket bully might be a better option if you live in a small house or apartment. The standard bully might be a better option if you have a large family or lead an active lifestyle. The best way to decide is to meet both varieties of bullies and determine which one you relate to the most. America's Bully The American Bully is a website devoted to giving you all the knowledge you need to understand one of America's most popular canines. You can find everything on this website, including breed profiles, training advice, and more. The goal is to arm you with all the information you need to decide which breed is best for you and to help you comprehend the requirements and significant facets of being a pet parent. This website will assist you in finding the ideal bully for your family, whether you're looking for a pocket bully or a standard bully. We appreciate your reading and wish you luck in finding the ideal American bully using this website. Advice for buying an American bully. There are a few things you should consider if you're considering buying an American bully. The following advice can help you buy an American bully. Do some research on the various forms of bullying in America. American bullies come in five flavors, pocket, standard, extreme, classic, and XL. Choose the bully that is most appropriate for you and your family. Locate a trustworthy breeder. An American bully breeder with a good reputation will test their dogs and give you health records. They'll be able to respond to any inquiries you have about the breed as well. Pick a healthy, well-mannered puppy that is an American bully. Puppies should be amusing and sociable. Avoid aggressive or timid puppies. Before buying an American bully, take your time and do some research. Your bully will be a loyal friend for many years if you give him or her the right care. For more details on American Bullies, take a look at American Kennel Club and the American Bully. How much do bullies in America cost? The breeder, type, and color can all affect an American Bully's price. Pocket Bully Dogs could be less expensive than standard Bully Dogs. Do American Pit Bull Terriers and American Bulldogs make good family pets? Both American Pit Bull Terriers and American Bulldogs make good family pets. They are devoted to, protective of, and loyal to their families. To prevent aggression, both breeds must be properly socialized and trained. How do American Bullies and American Pit Bull Terriers differ from one another? A new breed, the American Bully, was developed by mating the American Pit Bull Terrier with other canines. Pit Bulls are not the same as American Bullies. They are devoted to, protective of, and loyal to their families. Final Reflections A more compact, scaled-down version of the American Bully is the American Bully Pocket. They are regarded as one of the most adaptable breeds due to their ability to serve a variety of functions, including protection, hunting, and weight pulling. The Standard Bully is a larger breed that was originally bred for fighting. They typically need more exercise and are not thought to be as adaptable as the Pocket American Bully. Both types of bullies have their own unique attributes, so it is important to do your research before deciding which type is right for you. Let us know when you make a purchase. You can create a fantastic bully family with the American Bully's assistance.